which means fans are filling into the dunk for uh, another edition of Trenton Golden Hawks Hockey here on the OJHL tonight. Uh, good evening, everyone. David Foote and Ryan Pettigrew here at the hangar. Glad to have you along for another divisional rival matchup between the Golden Hawks and the Coburg Cougars. Uh, they have had the majority of the possession early on as that shot ends up off the glass and in the far side corner. A couple of players tangled up in the circle. And now a wraparound backhand try. They score. Well, they didn't need to get too much going offensively. The Cougars get in deep. They work it around the net. It's passed out in front. Zach Smith has his fourth of the season as he bangs home the one-timer to open the score. Yeah, I got to say, Trenton's looking really slow moving here in the early going. Definitely not something we're used to seeing from this Golden Hawks team, but a very slow, sluggish start, uh, unable to get the puck out of their own end, and it shows right there as Coburg pretty much dominated possession there for a good minute, and it resulted in a goal. Smith out to center ice with it, but only gets as far as the red line before being dispossessed. Golden Hawks try to step back in as it's chased down here by Morrow. Morrow. Wheeling at the top of the zone and along the blue line. Passed it off at the line. Oikel looking through traffic. Stop, rebound, scores! Justin Morrow off the post and in as he capitalizes on the rebound. And we talk about the little guys, and it's Morrow who evens things up here late in the first period. I mean, just look at the way that he got himself to that spot. Right? He wheeled all the way across the blue line around the offensive zone. We'll take another look at the play here. Right before this, of course, Morrow getting the puck in the zone, moving very quickly with it, and it pays off there as he got himself in position, and quick, quick, quick release on that puck. Barely had it for half a second before it's in the back of the net. Not a, a true rebound per se. It was off the stick of the deflection, but Justin Morrow's got his fourth of the season. He only had three in 20 games last season. Here's a pass off and a weak shooting chance. And the whistle will go just before the buzzer, but they'll let the final half second or so run off and put an end to the first period. And if you're Bancroft, you've got to shoot that one there. The Cornell commit, the leader of this team, points leader, everything, you've got to shoot that. 1-1 the score after 20 minutes. We'll take a break. When we come back, Isaac Pascal will be with Ryan. That and more to come on our first intermission programming as uh, our presentation of Trenton Golden Hawks hockey for Fast and Fussy Sandra Hussey of Exit Realty continues. Here's some, some league inside officials that uh, let us know that Pascal actually had to go get stitched up on his chin instead of coming to speak with us. So very understandable, and it's a Golden Hawks goal. They figured the power play and the extended two-man advantage was going to be costly, and it certainly is as Jake Campbell gets his ninth of the season. That's his 20th point already of this uh, young campaign. Butler with some good work down low, and a fairly easy one-timer for Campbell from the slot area as he was left all alone, and he can't leave a player of his caliber with that much time and space. I mean, mess of players down on the ice in that Far side circle, back up high for Butler. Walks along the line and carries it in deep. Brandon Butler in behind the Coburg net. Now to the near side, he feeds it back to the point. Jacob in with a shot, they score! I was just about to say, I have a feeling Jacob's gonna score soon, if not now. I was wrong, he, he got an assist, collects an assist on the goal, but another excellent job. Jacob doing everything that you could hope he could. Stays out of the box, gets another player in the box, and assists on the ensuing power play goal. I mean, what more could you ask? Both Morrow brothers now on the score sheet, as this time it's Devin just camping out on that far side post, and I don't know if Firth couldn't get to him. Saw the shoulder check, he knew he was there, but that's just a pinpoint pass across, and a tap in for Devin Morrow's sixth of the season. And that will bring an end to the second period. So Jake Campbell and Devin Morrow each score, 26 seconds in and 10 minutes, 15 seconds in, and that's all the scoring in the frame. Trent will carry a 3-1 lead to the second intermission. I never discredit an official uh, on the broadcast. It's, it's a very difficult job that I certainly could never do. So, But very interesting to see some of the calls that have not gone or gone tonight. Oh my. Golden Hawks are going to score shorthanded. Just 10 seconds into the Coburg power play, they will extend the lead to 4-1, to one, and Campbell 
That was an amazing goal by Jake Campbell using every inch of his reach to get around his man as we take another look here. A great move around and reaching all the way over on the Whoa. backhand of Shelf, that one. Shorthanded marker for Campbell, second of the game, 10th of the season, 21st point of the year. And for the Trenton Golden Hawks, their fourth shorthanded goal for this season. That is the seventh time the Coburg Cougars have allowed a goal while on the power play. Difficult to see from where we are if you're uh, not familiar. As there's a quick shot and a goal, and Smith has got his second of the night. And the Coburg Cougars have some life with 10 and a half to play. Um, honorable mention goes to Ethan Taylor's water bottle. That will go promptly in the garbage as the puck pretty well destroyed the top <laughs> of that. That'll be one for the highlight reel for young Mr. Smith. We'll take a look. Yep, that water bottle's done for. So Smith with his second in the game, and Coburg's right back in it. You know, 10 minutes, 10 and a half minutes rather left. I think there's certainly time for them to take this momentum and push it forward. It'll be interesting to see down the road over the bridge. It's it's always nice to look out over the water yes. after, after a Golden Hawks win. Quite, if you're a quite seen fan. it. That's right. It is, yeah, absolutely. And the Trent Seven waterway, the bridge with the lights. Anyway, we're talking about lights on the bridge. Uh, the Trenton Golden Hawks have won the game 4-2. to two. <laughs> They have. They light up the scoreboard with four. Uh, Cobra Cougars come close. This is the tightest matchup between the two teams so far in the uh, season series, but it is 3-0 Trenton. Uh, if you're keeping track, they pick up the 4-2 victory here tonight thanks to a, a couple of goals from uh, Jacob Campbell. The other two from the Morrow brothers split Zach Smith with the uh, pair of goals for the Coburg Cougars. Uh, and uh, uh, if you're the Cougars, I don't think you can be too upset um, with how things went. Uh, you know, it's a tough opponent. This is a tough building to play in. Uh, a rivalry game, as we mentioned, and they put forward a pretty good effort. You know, absolutely. There was no point in, in this game at which I felt that the Cobert Cougars were getting, you know, beaten really badly by the Golden Hawks. They were always in this game. Uh, they matched the physical play. They matched the pace. They matched the offensive intensity. They just couldn't match the score. All right, let's take a look at the three stars of the game tonight. We'll start with the third star, Brandon Butler, putting together a, a pretty nice evening. Uh, a couple of assists for him. Yep, uh, he wears the C at home when they wear the at-home black jerseys, and you, you can see why he's a leader out there. He gets in the mix. He barks at the guys, so uh, very clear choice there. Uh, you had some high praise for Zach Smith's game, and he had a nice night with a uh, couple of goals. That was your second star. Jacob Campbell uh, with two goals is your first star, which brings us to our next broadcast. Uh, just over uh, a week or so from now, Sunday evening, November 28th, the Lindsay Muskies are here uh, to take on the Trenton Golden Hawks. Again, Trenton picking up a win over Lindsay.